All right, number 12. What could number 12 be? Well, it has to be the Disruptors. Yeah, the Here 12s, we, baby. Here we go, man. The legendary 12th man, or as in recent years, the 12s. And the term the 12th man, Ethan, what is the 12th man? Well, obviously there's 11 men on the field. So the 12th man is like when your crowd is so loud, is so interactive, especially when another team is on offense and you can disrupt their ability to hear, think, even hear like the slightest adjustment or audible. I mean, you really hamper the offense and its capabilities. And so it's like having an extra person on the field, an extra defender. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, home field advantage is a real thing in some stadiums. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you have places like Kansas City and New Orleans. I mean, where it gets loud, it gets it gets crazy. So, it really does or affect Philadelphia, where they might assault you with batteries yeah. or a snowball, even if you're Santa Claus. <laughs> I would be scared to play there. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, it's and it's fun when it's when it's like that in a stadium. You really, like I said, like back in the day, man, we took it serious. Like we yeah. we held that pride, man. It was like a badge of honor for us. And no team in the NFL is more known for their fan base than the Seattle Seahawks. And it goes back all the way to the 80s, where it all started, essentially. And that house used to rock, man. That thing was a rocket. The kingdom was like a, a madhouse with all the crazy you know, blue-collar flying. Absolutely. The, the wave <laughs> flying around. <laughs> exactly. They, they actually uh, retired the 12th man jersey on December 15th, 1984. And I think it was in 1989, just before we, you know, before those 90s. Um, but it was so loud at one point that they actually received a penalty for being too loud. I mean, think about that. Think about getting... Yeah, like, that's insanity. The refs, that's so ridiculous. The, the refs gave a penalty to the Seahawks fans. Like, that's unheard of. That's that's amazing. So uh, that's how loud the Seahawks fans were, even before the new stadium. And there have been so many games and moments in Seahawks history where the fans have really impacted the game. I mean, probably the most famous is... The one on November 27th, 2005 against the Giants. Yeah. Where, where the fa- and I was at that game, by the way. Nice. Contributing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the fans that day, we caused 11 false starts versus the Giants. 11 in one game. 11 false starts. Wow. <laughs> Kicker Jay Feely is like missing like three field goals. I think they were all towards the Hawks nest where we were too. It was so great. Oh. It's one of the greatest games that I've ever been to. It was so fun. Oh, it's like a sunny day. We're all out there just like having a good time, drinking beers, oh, screaming at the Giants. It was so great. But the, the 12th man has twice set the Guinness World Book of Records for the loudest recorded noise at a sporting event. And the first time they accomplished this was on September 15th, 2013. And they registered a 136.6 decibels against the 49ers, which is fitting. And then again on December 2nd, 2013, during a Monday night football game versus the Saints with a roar of 137.6 decibels. So just to put that in perspective, a jet engine at 100 feet is about 140 decibels. That's insanity. It's pretty crazy. Now, in September of 2014, the Chiefs, they actually ended up breaking Seattle's record of 142.2 decibels, but their stadium also holds 7,676 more people than our stadium does. So do the math on that. Well, and like you said, to be honest, wouldn't it be nice to get a, a genuine reading, like say during that NFC Championship game that you're talking about in 2006? Uh, just to get like a real, like a in the moment, true passion, rather than some sort of canned attempt to get it, you know. A hundred percent, and I bet you it was louder than that. I guarantee yeah, it. I it guarantee it. So yeah, the number 12 has to go to the Seahawks fans, because we are the 12s. And special shout out goes to Mama Blue, who is the greatest Seahawks fan of all time, bar none. She's well, the only thing I could maybe refute that with, Josh, and this might be controversial, but if Paul Allen isn't a fan of our team and decides not to come and save our team at the zero hour, and I know we'll get to that, I'm just saying you could make an argument if Paul Allen, even if he's not Mama Blue and Mama Blue in terms of like day in, day out in the stadium, there is no question. 
But man, Paul Allen has got to be one of the best fans too, just for what he did and what he meant to our team. Thank God. Love Paul Allen. Oh, rest in peace, Mr. Allen. All right. That does it for the disruptors, the 12s, the 12th man, or just simply put the loud, obnoxious, annoying fans of Seattle. I'll take it all. If the noise persists, the defense will be charged with a time.